everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking all about hair dryers. So I pretty much have a love-hate relationship with drying my hair because my hair is super bleached, it is also very porous and it takes very long to dry my hair. Of course, every time I walk out of the salon, my stylist gives me beautiful Instagram worthy hair and I really wish I can maintain how it looks like when it's fresh out of the salon but unfortunately I really don't because I really hate the entire tedious process of drying my hair at home. So usually when I dry my hair at home using the traditional hair dryer, it takes way too long, I get bored, I get tired, my arms get sore and I just end up not doing it at all. So I compensate this by drying my hair every three days which means I get good hair for like one and a half days and hair for the other one and a half days which I've always thought was a happy balance but I think I can do better and I will do better. So today I'm going to be trying out the new Dream Hair Glory and I'll be putting it to the test against our hot favourite, the Dyson Supersonic. So we are going to be comparing these two hair dryers on a few criteria and they are size, sound, speed, quality as well as price. So if you're interested to see how the Dream Hair Glory goes up against the Dyson, watch on. First things first, let me share a little more about the Dream Hair Glory. This powerful little tool has a 110 RPM high speed motor which gives you a very powerful airflow and promises to dry your hair in as little as 2 minutes for shoulder length hair. The powerful airflow also separates the wet hair to reach the scalp more quickly and as such removes moisture from the scalp surface more efficiently and quickly and avoids damage from high heat. It is a nifty handheld hair dryer which already aesthetically stands out to me. I like the attention to detail with the matching colour of the cord as well as the band that holds the cord together. Weighing in at only 345 grams, the Dream Hair Glory is a dream to use and I don't find myself with sore arms after drying my hair. Its design and size also makes it really easy to stow away and perfect for travelling. It also employs the use of negative ion technology with over 300 million platinum ions to help close the hair cuticles, strengthen the hair and reduce split ends. There are four temperature settings and two speeds which are very easy to toggle with the press of a button. And it uses smart NTC temperature sensing to keep the air temperature at an optimal 57 degrees. Comparing the size of both hair dryers, you can see that the Dream Hair Glory is slightly smaller and more streamlined. And at 345 grams, it is significantly lighter than the Dyson Supersonic which weighs about 650 grams. Here to help me judge the sound test is my dog Poppy. Sound wise, the Dream Hair Glory is slightly quieter at 75 decibels compared to 77 decibels of the Dyson Supersonic. So here I am putting the speed of both hair dryers to the test. With an airflow speed of 70 meters per second, the Dream Hair Glory can dry shoulder length hair in about 2 minutes. Let's compare this to the Dyson Supersonic which has an airflow of 46 meters per second and let's see how it fares. As you can see, the hair on the right using the Dream Hair Glory is more tame and glossier while my hair on the left using the Dyson Supersonic appears coarser. While both hair dryers employ the use of negative ion technology, the Dream Hair Glory uses 300 million platinum ions as compared to 10 million by the Dyson Supersonic. If you want to achieve super shiny and glossy hair, you can also purchase the Essence Attachment at $29.90. The first of its kind, the Essence is a magnetic hair care nozzle which contains essential oils and produces 5 times greater negative ion concentration to give you more nourished, smoother and silkier hair. To use the Essence, dry your hair till it's about 60% dry and attach the Essence nozzle to your hair glory. 
Use the nozzle at the 57 degree drying mode. So as we have tested, you can see that the Dream Hair Glory can do whatever the Dyson does, but better. As you saw earlier, it dried my hair in a shorter amount of time and gave it a glossier and silkier finish. And on top of that, at $229, it is really just a fraction of the price of the Dyson Supersonic, which retails at the region of $600, depending on where you choose to buy it. So if you want to get your dream hair glory, I'll be linking the link down below. I will also be providing a $55 voucher code, which will bring the price of this baby down to $174 only. And if you're the first 100 customers to purchase your dream hair glory, you will also receive a free essence attachment valued at $29.90. With that, I hope you enjoyed watching this super short review. Please let me know if you have any questions down below and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!